Yeah, right guys, in this video, I'm gonna be doing an edit on this picture here. I've already done the expansion in Photoshop, as I will show you in a minute, but I just wanted to give it a bit more of a wide angle look, and you know, that little bit more of a dreamy feel, and I wanted to make it look as if it was shot through some tree branches, etc. So this is what I did. We went from the original, which is this, to this using the generative expand in Photoshop and then I've added some extras some just some layers here that I'm going to show you in a tick I'm going to leave the link to this picture and to these uh, PNG files in the bottom of this video so if you want to have a little play yourself if you've not done anything like this before feel free to use them as well and um, yeah have a go but anyway so first off we've got the tree branches here which I just want to add a little bit of blur to and Gaussian blur there we go and we just want to bring that right down to here just so they look a little bit more realistic and in line with the rest of the picture and it's going to give the, the final image a little bit more depth as you will see Okay, so we've got them, and then I also added some sun rays as well coming through here. And one of the last ones was some tree branches here and here. So it's like we shot this image through this, just to give it a little bit more framing, as you can see. Okay, next step is I'm going to flatten the image, and then we're going to just head into portrait pro to do the finishing touches don't forget guys if you like these videos give me a like and subscribe it does help my channel and um, it just you know gives you a little bit more enthusiasm to keep running with the videos okay so we're gonna let portrait pro do its magic and then we will carry on with the editing so we're all loaded up into portrait pro and don't forget guys I, I always start off with everything switched off and then you can see what you're doing as you go along don't rely on any ai to give you you know the preset look the, it it just never works out doesn't matter what's the what software you or use it just doesn't look right you're best off doing it yourself manually and then you full control and you know when you've gone too far that's just my opinion i hope it helps somebody right okay so i can see here we've just got this eye that needs just opening just a little bit more it just seems to be a little bit smaller than this one so we'll go into this one here and as you can see we're just bringing our eye up to, so it's about the same as this eye on the other side right okay so that's that done and then we are just going to bring the head forward and that's just going to bring slim the face down just a little bit and you could do a lens correction as well on the face if you want to so we will probably give a correct create a cor correction i should say of around about 90 and then we'll just add a little bit more plumpness to the top lip and if you wanted to adjust the face we've got the forehead area that we can adjust or the jawline as well on this occasion we won't be using that one okay neck and shoulders and i'm gonna go for a hair volume just gonna just boost the hair just it, it's looking nice and fluffy anyway but a little bit more volume always helps a picture in my opinion so we're just gonna go up to probably around a 50 percent mark on that and we will close them down now in the skin smoothing we're going to put the spot removal up to round about number eight and then we're going to bring the imperfections up to the 60 mark she hasn't got any wrinkles we'll just remove the paws a little bit we're going to add a little bit of sharpening back into the image and then we'll head in and just do a little touch up as well because as I've said before the 
spot removal on this software why while it in my opinion it should be the best with the company being around so being around for so long it doesn't work as well as some of the new kids on the block as I have mentioned in previous videos okay so we're just doing a light touch up on the face and then we'll come in I'm just going to find shadows we'll bring those up um, and lighten the eye bags as you can see you know the more you go into these there is so many different options that you can use compared to other software that you just rely on for it to do it itself there is so many different ones you can use on this software really good okay sharpen the image i'm happy with that i'm happy with that we're just doing like a light edit today on this picture now i want to head into the lipstick one and I want to change the lipstick to round probably that sort of colour we've got different textures we can use I will go for that one I'm going to bring it down just a little bit and as well I'm going to add a little bit of moisture to the lip as you can see there not too much we'll probably go to about there there's so many more options with this software compared to others about changing the colors not just you know simple presets you've got the color range that is just you know non-stop you can change anything to whatever you want for the lipsticks etc okay so we're going to head into the mascara and we're going to add some false eyelashes for this one uh, and we'll go for the bold I'm going to make them nice and heavy just so when the picture is back here you can still see the lashes okay we'll bring the texture down yeah we'll keep it on the bold ones and then we're going to go for the eyeliner top and bottom a little bit of eyeshadow Again, like I'm saying, you can change the colours, you know, of the eyeshadows just to whatever you want. On this occasion, I'm going to keep it like that sort of colour. And then just a little bit of blush. We don't want it too red. We'll keep it with the pink. And we'll go a little bit darker not too much just around about there a little bit of bronze as well on the face this software you know you can go and try it yourself as a trial and then you can go and purchase it as a one-off purchase no credit system no nothing you just own it forever which in my opinion is the best way to go but I do like the other software out there that I've um, reviewed, which is um, Evoto, but the it's still a killer for me is the um, the credit system. But anyway, enough about that. We're going to brighten the iris up. What I might even do is no, we'll keep it there. A little bit of sharpening on the eyebrows. I'm just going to add a little eye bar, eyelid area just to give a little bit more depth to those eyes. And do I want a catch light? We've got a catch light, so we're fine. And then the hair, a little bit more fill light, not too much. We'll add a little bit of black. No, we'll leave that as well. Contrast. We don't want it too bright. It's going to change the colours too much, I think. Let me just try that one as well. Just a little bit of sharpening to the hair. We'll go with that one. Now again, 
colored highlights, everything you want, select hair color. You know, the it, it's just, it caught the hat for some reason. You could remove that. I'm not gonna use any of these, but recoloring the hair, there's loads of different options you can do in here. We'll just click okay. We're not gonna be using that. So the last one I'm gonna go in for with this is the lighting and contouring. And we're gonna go in with just a little bit more modeling on there. And then we'll give a little bit of body contrast as well. And the base contrast, we'll add to about there. Now, a little bit more of a smoky eye look, a little bit of a pout. We're gonna sculpt the nose as you can see here. It's one of those dreamy sort of images we're trying to achieve with this shot and edit. And a little bit more shadow on the right. We could add it to the left as well, but we're gonna stay with just this side and I'm just gonna adjust this cheek as well in Photoshop. And I'm done. We're gonna click OK head back into Photoshop to finish off. Right, so we're back in Photoshop, guys. The image as I want it is nearly finished. As you can see, we've got the Portrait Pro effects added. I just want to adjust that chin, uh, sorry, that cheek area just a little bit. So we're gonna go into Liquify. Uh, we'll zoom in. Bring the brush size down, not too much. To about there, and just that little bit there is, for some reason, I'm gonna bring that hair over just a little bit. And I will maybe pull this hat out just a little bit as well. and adjust it there. And I'm happy. There we go, that's the final image. So it's one of those more of a dreamy look um, with the highlight of the face. If you, That's why I used the Portrait Pro was to, just so you, your eyes sort of center onto the face area and um, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. It turned out okay from the original to this in no time at all using Portrait Pro and Photoshop. Like I said, guys, the link will be below to the little PNG files that I used in this edit and uh, you can have a play yourself. See you in the next video, guys. Peace.